be able to take your heart away. Hey everyone! So this is a new hairstyle I came up with and I'm loving it. It's inspired by Rihanna. I'm trying to get the shade look without actually having to shave my hair. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so it's the morning time and I uh, slept on my Bantu knots. Now, now I'm going to show you guys how I curl my clip-ins. Now I'm not going to take the Bantu knots out yet because I want to curl the hair first. So uh, I did all the other ones so far. I'll show you one piece that I did already. See? Perfect little curls. So to get that, I'm just going to clip it in while the knots are still in, just so I can, just so it can stay secure. And then, this is also a good method to curl it this way, so I won't have to worry about any heat getting on my hair, because all my hair is all twisted up, so it's much easier to just separate it and then just curl it to keep going along the strip. So. To get a spiral curl, a tight, tighter spiral curl, you have to angle. I'm using my uh, Revlon, uh, what's it called? Wand, curling wand. And this one, I got it from Walmart for like $20, and I love this thing. And it comes like a little half a like clip, so you can use it different ways, but I'm not gonna use the clip to do these tight spiral curls. So, cause you have to, so to do these curls, you have to angle it upside down like this, and then just wrap it around. So you get to the end, and then hold it. Hold it for about 10 seconds, and then if you feel, you can want to feel the heat like coming through. And then I just put my hand under and let it fall into my hand. And I hold it there in my hand until it cools down. You can fan it because you want it to hold the curl. And then release. So I'm going to do another one. Now you just want to separate the curls. You don't want to be too yeah, rough because you don't want to mess up the curl pattern. But it doesn't matter if they don't come out perfect because we're putting the clippings in anyway. And most of my hair is going to be covered up. Cause I want it to be in my face, so. So as far to the front as it will go. Okay, so I got all the tracks in and I slipped back this side with uh, the Let's Jam Custard that I got from my local beauty supply store. And so as you can see, it's pretty much almost there. Um, I just want to point out to you guys what I did for this top track right here. Um, I put it in upside down so basically I clipped it going that way. So you can see it's clipped in and it's going that way so that when, hold on let me fix it, it's kind of loose. 
so that it adds value to when I flip it back over that way, it kind of gives it some volume at the top. So now it's time for blending. So just to blend, I'm just gonna like take the pieces and then just curl them into the. Uh, All right, so the look is complete. This is the final look that I've got. Give you a close up here. So I kind of want it like the effect, like it's kind of bald over here, you know, that new fad that they got going on. So, yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's cute. I never really like it. So, anyhow, I'm just going to spray some hairspray in it because my hair is not whole curls and it will frizz up. Now, this is just a suave uh, hairspray, number eight. And I forgot to mention that I did separate the curls from the fake hair. Just the same way that I did when I separated my bantu knots. Just go through and just pull them apart. And another trick you can do is use the back of a rat tail comb. And then just comb through like that. And that will separate the curls yeah. also. If you have any comments or questions, or please feel free to leave them below. And thank you guys for watching. Please, please subscribe and like. And... See you next time.